guys, I am back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new. All that good stuff. Um, I'm Leona. I have a service dog named Aries and a service dog in training named Athena. Um, so today I am actually filming a video that has been requested since people found out I was putting in an order. Um, and that is my Yup Collar to review. Um, so I've now had my gear for a little over a month, I think, if I did my math correctly. Um, and I've been able to use it for doctor's appointments as well as for a couple of short outings at stores. Obviously the virus means we're not going out to as many places as we want or, you know, need or anything, but I have had a surplus of doctor's appointments recently. So, you know, there are times where we're going out and then obviously there are a couple of essential trips here and there to stores that we've had to do um, where I've been able to use this harness. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video um, and just share my review. Okay, so first off, we've got a black, it's just their like service dog harness. It doesn't have any guide. Um, I know on the website, it comes with like a counterbalance handle with Athena's size. Um, it's not something that I got. Uh, may end up being a case if we order another one in the future with a counterbalance handle but for now i just wanted the harness kind of thing um so this is just a straight front um it has the adjustable straight front we got black with hot pink sheepskin as you can see um i love this it is really bright um on camera but it's actually i don't think it's that bright in person um but i love it Pull strap is not by Yup, it's by Crystal Clear Creations on Instagram, and I can like put the name in the description box if anybody is interested in it. I can also do a review on them if anybody would like. Um, but basically I got this harness, um, it does not have the double quick release on it, um, it just has like the one side that's adjustable with like belt loop and then it has the one quick, re quick release buckle. Um, so yeah, I did get two sets of D-rings on the back, one for a cape, one for a pull strap kind of thing because I enjoyed that, or one for a cape um, or pull strap and one for like hanging patch tabs, all that kind of stuff. It's just what I prefer, um, but yeah. So basically that's all I have for the harness. And then on top of that, I did order a matching cape. Um, this has patience and love patches on it. It has the matching hot pink sheepskin. Um, and it has, so it's just their, what do I call it? It's just their like leather cape. Um, this can also be converted to a vest. They have an attachment for that. I do not have it. It's something I may get in the future. Um, it's just like a wide front leather strap thing that goes, hooks onto the Velcro attachments and then goes down and will loop on to the skirt. Um, so yeah, that was my order. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the review. Okay, so basically, um, I, for wait time, everything like that, I think currently the wait time is a little bit long. I think the wait time is like six to eight weeks, but that's thanks to COVID. I think, like, the big thing is, yep, is located in Italy, which obviously that hit pretty hard um so it's kind of a can understand that um with me i did ask for a rush order and i was at right at six weeks i know a couple of people ended up getting theirs in like four weeks um that kind of stuff i will say that was one of my complaints was i had asked for a rush order um but there were people with like also with rush orders that had like more complex orders and they were getting theirs faster um so it seems like they were kind of prioritizing certain orders that kind of stuff um but that also could be because they were waiting on certain materials all that there is a lot of unknowns i mean i'm not complaining it's i knew it was going to be a longer wait time so it's whatever but just something i wanted to put out there um okay so for the cape i do think the quality is really nice really great i think one thing that gets me is if you look the cape material is the padded leather that's not something that i was told beforehand i thought it was going to be made out of the same leather as my harness um this like the straps are like the strapping is the regular leather so is these little spots that like hold d-rings on 
but the actual like cape material is padded. Uh, so that's just one thing because the padded leather is different and it's definitely not the material I thought we were getting. Um, it's not reason for me to like return it or anything like that. It's just one thing. Um, so yeah. Other than that though, I'm really happy with my cape. Uh, I will admit I made a mistake and I accidentally put hook for the velcro instead of loop, but we figured out a way around that. So my patches obviously have a hook as well, which would mean these two won't stick. So I just made these like little material things. Um, they have two like patches of loop velcro like right on top of each other. Um, and they just work. They line up perfectly with like my, the hook area on here and they just stay and then I can just stick my patch to it, which I will put out there. My patience and love patches are a little bit bigger than the Velcro patch, but it just kind of looks like that. I don't think it looks bad or anything, so I'm perfectly fine with it. As I said, that's a mistake on my part, not on Yep's part. Um, so yeah, really happy with those. Um, okay, so for the harness, as I said, it's good material. If we do compare it to like my Bridgeport, it is definitely like thinner leather. Although I really am thinking that this is their new bull leather um, that I got on this harness, which is why it's thicker because this definitely has thicker leather than my other Yep did. And I'm not sure why but also I'm not objecting because like I'm extremely happy with this material like it looks great um so yeah as I said this is really great quality I'm really happy with it um personally it fits exactly what I wanted um adjusting it was a little finicky on my part just because I had to figure out exactly how to adjust like the shoulders that kind of stuff and Athena is in the weird, like, growing puppy stages where, you know, I have to adjust it every time I put it on almost. Um, so all of that kind of just, as I said, my thing. But as far as the company goes, I was really happy with the harness. I'm really happy with the quality. Um, I will say I did end up going with black over, like, a pretty color. I thought about doing, like, the wine color or magenta that kind of stuff but part of why i didn't was because i've heard so many people complaining about their order fading if they do the painted leather um so anything that's not like the pre-dyed leathers um so with that it kind of scared me off almost i went ahead and just did a solid black and if i do another order i would probably still do one of the pre-dyed colors i might do like pink or something because those are pre-dyed but I don't know for sure um it's just personal preference kind of thing um as I said that may just be a they need to change their type of gear or type of dye that kind of stuff um it may be a people aren't caring for their leather correctly but as I said I've seen a lot of it so it did kind of just scare me off a little um but I was so far as like the harness goes I'm extremely happy all of the edges are like beveled I don't know if you guys can tell that but they're all beveled down so there's no like sharp points I know that's something that I've seen a couple of people complain about I didn't ask for beveled edges but they are beveled um all that kind of stuff uh overall I'm happy with my experience customer service was amazing I actually messed up on the chest measurement for Athena and when I placed my order, so they reached out and just were like, hey, this is what we usually do for this size. I wanna double check that this will actually fit, that kind of stuff. So we got all that worked out, um, as well as just that kind of stuff. Overall, I'm very happy with my harness. I'm happy I went with the up. Uh, as I said, I could see myself placing another order. I actually do plan on placing a collar order um, in the near future for Athena's like grown up collar, because I like to have a good quality, either leather or a bio thing collar for all of my dogs. Um, Aries has both a leather and a biothane, and I will most, as I said, most likely be getting her a leather and probably a biothane in the future that will fit correctly, all that kind of stuff. Um, but 
that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this helps as far as any questions in regards to yep. And that's all I have for today. So bye.